Hey there, it is Kathy here at Terrace Honda and it's the time of year of course uh, where we are all on the coast driving through all sorts of weather um, often in very short periods of time and you may have had this sign flash up on your dash. But don't worry, there's uh, very easy solutions for it. There's no need to panic. There's nothing actually wrong. Your car is, uh, your Honda is designed to do that. Um, what happens is the um, safety features, like your Honda sensing features, um, are designed so that if lack of visibility is an issue for whatever reason and they just can't get proper depth and perception, it will shut the systems off until it's uh, safe and clear to do so. Now, some of the systems, some of the systems that are the systems that are effective. There's two two different systems. There's a camera, which is up by your mirror, and um, a radar unit, which is usually on the front of your grill somewhere. Uh, depending on the vehicle, you'd need to look in your uh, manual, and it will tell you where it is for your particular Honda. However. Uh, the front windshield camera um, affects the forward collision warning, your collision mitigation braking system, your lane departure warning, uh, your lane keeping assist, your road departure, mit departure mitigation system, adaptive cruise control with your low speed follow, and your traffic sign recognition if you have that like in your Accords. Um, your front radar unit um, cr helps control your collision mitigation braking system and your adaptive cruise control as well. So here's what to do if it comes on. Um, you make sure, of course, that you're pulled over somewhere safe to do so and uh, have a clean cloth and just uh, clean them off like this. So this, a good a clean cloth and a wipe on your, on your uh, camera, on your screen there, which is right uh, on the same place pretty much on every Honda. Of course, it's right here under your, your emblem, but on, on your, depending on your vehicle, it may be off over to the right or down in the bumper, depending on what you've got, and you'll need to check your owner's manual to decide to figure out where that is for your particular vehicle. Now, if those, those uh, sensors are both clear and you're having problems, chances are um, the first two most important things is that um, there's either probably really heavy fog or really heavy snow, in which case uh, it just won't be able to sense the distances and it will shut off until it can actually accurately gauge depth and all that. Or if it persists after that, uh, then it should clear up once, once uh, your weather and, and everything is fine. Um, but, um, but if it stays on after that, then you give your dealership a call and uh, make sure that your sensors are all reset properly. So I hope that helps. Everybody drive safe. And uh, of course, you're always welcome to give me a call or stop in if you have questions. Bye for now.